Every day is Earth Day at Tampa Bay Watch and the Discovery Center, whose mission is to foster a health, healthy Tampa Bay watershed through community-driven restoration projects, education programs, and outreach initiatives. And joining us today is Dwayne Virgin, CEO from Tampa Bay Watch. Thanks for joining me, and I hear you have a few summer camp slots available. It's true. We just have a few left. Uh, we do summer camps both at our Chair Verde location and out at the Pier at the Discovery Center. So call now if you'd like to get up. Okay, you hear that? All you Natalies out there better get on it. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Yeah. Earth Day, of course, April 22nd. And you have some special events. Tell me about those. We do. We have a lot going on, but I'll talk about the Discovery Center first. Uh, Discovery Center is our uh, education center, museum, aquarium down at the pier in St. Petersburg. Uh, and at the Discovery Center, we'll be doing free public programs from about 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in our wet classroom, which is outside the building. So if you have kids or family members visiting, you can come down and participate in those, learn more about the bay, get some hands-on activities, do some crafts. Those are freebies. How fun. Yeah. Is there more? And Sounds there's, like there's more. Uh, there's more. <laughs> uh, and that's till four o'clock. Six o'clock, we're having a special event. It's actually Earth Night with author Randy Wayne White, who's a regional author. He's actually out of um, Sanibel, and he's coming up, and he's going to talk about his books and uh, share some of his history with us. He used to be a fishing guide, and he's a, he's a native Floridian, so. Oh, yeah. He's a household great. name that's very hard to pronounce, but we love him. <laughs> Earth Night, I love that idea. Now you, you touched on just in general what the Discovery Center is and we all love the new St. Pete Pier. What can people expect if they go just any day of the week? Any day of the week, I mean, there's always something going on down at the pier. Um, in fact, there's a Easter weekend coming up. I think there's an egg hunt that's on, on uh, Sunday and we actually have donated uh, green eggs, meaning that they're, they're paper eggs. Uh, for that hunt. Uh, but besides Easter, there's always activities at Discovery Center. We have several new exhibits. We have a terrapin exhibit that opened last year and a new exhibit that will open later in the year on frogs. Native, and so people who want to learn about Cuban tree frogs, they want to learn about cane toads so they can identify them, can get an up close and personal experience with them without touching them. So they know how to, how to uh, identify them when uh, the dogs are in the area. Oh, that's great. I need that. I'm a dog owner. <laughs> now, those are Earth Day and Earth Night activities that we can enjoy. And then I know you also have some volunteer opportunities. Mm -hmm. So for us, Earth Day is kind of our Super Bowl. And for us, it's, all, you know, it's every day, but especially next week. And actually, next week is also National Volunteer Week, as it turns out. So for us from volunteers, they are a backbone. That's how we get things done, because we are boots on the ground organization. So we are doing a series of restoration projects next week. We build oyster reef balls, which are these concrete domes that go in the water that protect the shoreline, um, and help um, foster uh, oysters, which actually clean seawater. One oyster can clean up to 50 gallons of seawater a oh. day, which is amazing. So it's an organic, natural process. Uh, so we're doing those. We're harvesting uh, native plants next week. Um, and actually, the big project is at Lassing Park, where we're doing some installation next Friday. But if you can't participate next week, we have projects going on year-round. It's a great way to get involved. Oh, my gosh. So cool. What else can we do just in our community to support Tampa Bay Watch? Thank you. It's a great question. Um, well, first and foremost is taking care of the earth. All right. So we practice the four R's. So we want to reduce, reuse, recycle when it comes to plastics or refuse bring in those cotton bags instead of getting plastic bags that ends up, end up in the waters or end up in landfill. Uh, second thing you can do is, of course, volunteer. It's always welcome. Another thing you can do is stop fertilizing the lawns uh, because all of that ends up eventually in the bay. And most of it does. And that spurs red tide like we experienced last year. Mm. So those are all helpful for all of us. Tampa Bay Watch. We're always happy to get volunteer supporters, and we're a nonprofit organization, so we're happy to get whatever kind of support people can, can help out. There's always a way to help us out. Absolutely. Earth Day every day and Earth Night sometimes, too. Yeah. Dwayne of Tampa Bay Watch, thank you so much, and happy Earth Day to you. Happy Earth Day. Thank you.